Hello my friends and welcome to another video. Today we are going to be testing an entree, an appetizer, and a dessert that are all vegan. And I went to a specialty shop and got these because there are so many like alternative versions of these foods and stuff. So it's, it's I feel like it's hard to know which one's gonna be good, which one's gonna taste like cardboard. Right? Or like a sandcastle. <laughs> sandcastle. I hope, yeah. I hope these I hope taste, they like taste like a sandcastle. <laughs> or maybe I hope they terrible. taste like really good triple decker sandcastles. With a really good dirt clod? Like barbecue sauce on The one it. you find by the river? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so I think we should go in order of how you would eat this at a restaurant. So appetizer, entree, and then dessert, which is in the freezer. Okay. Okay. So first off, we have these barbecue wings. These are by Gardein. Gardein has always in my opinion, had like just super good products. Like about every single one I've tried from them, pretty much, except for the beef strips. Everything else though, has been super good. So I, on the other hand, have never heard of them ever in my life. Yeah, <laughs> it's so funny never how- Never heard like, of Guardian, ever. How much of this crap I yeah. eat, but you don't even know about it. <laughs> like it's so, so funny. So that, that gives you the point of view that I have of this. Oh yeah, that's very interesting. Yeah, because you're like a, currently a meat eater. So like you have barbecue stuff in your life. So I did make these though. You did make these. Like I was making meat. You so did. we're gonna make see how those. they are. Uh, so we made these traditional style, like we uh, cooked them in a frying pan with a, a tablespoon or two of olive oil to get them crispy first, and then we tossed them with sauce to finish it off. So it's gonna be like a kind of crunchy taste. I can hear the crunch a little bit. I put a little pepper on top. Ooh, I'm excited. Dude, the texture even pulls off like a tender chicken wing. These are so good. This it, is like TGIF, like dude. Chicken. When you when you bite it, that's true. It does look like it chicken. It does. The sauce. Really? Makes it so that you just can think nothing bad of it at all. Okay, that's a good. I thought you were delicious. about to say something about the sauce. I was no, like, it's great. good as hell, man. This is phenomenal. I could eat the whole entire thing. Macazon is pretty good. I think there's mm. 15 grams of protein per four of these. Doesn't it? It has the correct texture. The taste of the sauce is phenomenal, and the little bit of crunch from the olive oil, fantastic. Yeah, man, leave me some, man. <laughs> you know, I mean, you made six. I'm eating three. three. Yeah, this is by far the best vegan alternative, like frozen meal thing I've ever had. Absolutely, me too. hands down. I've had a few things now. I could eat these on a constant. Could you eat these in your regular diet? Even out? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Absolutely. That's awesome. No, I don't know how much these were though. Five bucks. Okay. So it's all right. Five bucks for for eight of these, I think. And they're each, it's like four per serving. On a bulk, that would be a little pricey. Mm -hmm. Go try these, like hands down. These are freaking good. This is not sponsored anything. <laughs> these are just freaking good. You good. Ah, uh, Scabadaguchi. Very good. Rabbit it's on yeah. your Nairobi. It does a very good. Yes, a very, very yummy. Okay, appetizer over. Waitress, please take this. Thank Get you. Out of here. Thank you. Thank you. Here's your tip. Lindsay, give you a tip later. Okay, so now mm. we're moving on to the entree. This is an Amy's dish. Amy's Kitchen is not a vegan company, but they make like vegan dishes and real like normal dishes or whatever. Yet so, another company I know nothing about. Yeah, you don't know any of this stuff. It's okay, don't worry, it's okay. <laughs> so this is a soy cheese macaroni, cheese spelled with a Z, super cheesy. So I think we cooked this pretty well because we got the, the golden brown edges. I feel like if that's how you're cooking your macaroni and cheese. cheese layer on top. Yeah, you're nailing it at that point. So we're just gonna dive right on here, see what this tastes like. That's good. Mm. Uh, it's not like homemade mac and cheese. Mm. I'm gonna compare that to hometown buffet or soup plantation. Dude, you nailed it. Cheese. You nailed it. Like, and in fact, it wouldn't surprise me if like that's that is it. Because then maybe I could cheaper something. Because like quite often, like Jack in the Box and stuff, they soy tacos, soy stuff. A lot of uh, what schools and stuff I had I think have like soy burgers and like mm -hmm. stuff like mm -hmm. that. So why? Almost all the fast food places you go to do a 50-50 mix of meat and and soy because soy is cheaper. Soybeans, obviously. Uh, so yeah, like you just said, I would say the texture is perfect. The texture is really good, but the taste. It's like kind of a little bland. It's like, not like restaurant mac and cheese. It's yeah. like buffet mac and cheese. Yeah, exactly. Like mass you know produced. I mean? Yeah. Like, like you know how when you have macaroni and cheese, it's really good. It's kind of like sharp. Like you get that really mm. cheddary sharp. I could pile a bunch of like garlic salt on there. And yeah. Really stoked. You could make some other stuff in there and make it better. I don't know if I would suggest this, honestly. Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. unless you like kind of normal buffet stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Mediocre like, macaroni. <laughs> yeah. I, I just I don't really like that one. I don't know if anyone's yeah. gonna be like. No, dude, I really like the mediocre stuff. <laughs> I only like mediocre stuff. Well, so. it's an honest review. Yeah. You so, know? I mean, it's, I don't know. It's good enough that I would finish this whole thing. I probably will, but like, I wouldn't yeah. I wouldn't buy it again. But I am going to buy those barbecue yes. wings again, for sure. I would and, eat those again. And he's gonna eat them with me, for I sure. I would eat those again. I wish they made it bigger. I'm mad that I have to keep eating this and not the barbecue wings. 
<laughs> I'm kind of over this. Yeah, I don't really want this anymore. So, thus far, we have one success barbecue wings, one fail macaroni and cheese. Very big success. Now we have the tiebreaker, right? So we finished our meals at this beautiful restaurant we're at, the Beyond the Week restaurant. And now our waitress, I see her bringing us some dessert. Is it Lindsay again? No, it's actually Sarah this time. Oh, Lindsay, okay. Lindsay had to go home on a smoke break. <laughs> Lindsay's smoking some meth in the parking lot. Do you think Lindsay's gonna come back? <laughs> All cracked up. <laughs> what we have here for our dessert to make this a full complete meal, this is by a company called So Delicious, and they make, I believe they make a few different types of ice creams, but I believe this one is a coconut ice cream. I think they also make almond milk ice creams and stuff like that. But yeah, this is a dairy-free, awesome, chocolate, vanilla, traditional like ice cream bar. I've already had the ice cream by then. Oh yeah? It's delicious. So oh, I yeah. can only assume this is gonna be amazing. I haven't had this brand. I had like an Almond Breeze company or something like that and they made an ice cream and it was super good. So I'm just imagining, mm. but we'll see. It's the first test for both of us. Oh man. Oh, my oh baby Lord Jesus. Oh man. The texture, really good. The texture is perfect, dude. Mm. This is, Literally exactly like ice cream. I feel there's no difference. As an ice cream eater, mm -hmm. like all the time. Oh yeah, you are, huh? Um, I'm not. This ice cream, well, ice cream, mm -hmm. it doesn't like, <clears throat> it doesn't give you like a, <clears throat> you know, like a phlegm. Yeah, it's not so creamy. And yeah, you're right, you're right, right, right. It melts real fast. It's yeah, a little bit like, more watery. Yeah, okay, yeah, so I was gonna say, disintegrates is a little bit more watery. It's like a little bit more like frozen than, than like that's the reason it's like, it's like a solid block because it's like mm -hmm. frozen. It's not because it's like a creamy consistency. Mm -hmm. But honestly, I feel like you could hand this to a little kid, give it to a little kid, they start eating it, and they would have no problems. They wouldn't be like, ew, this is icky. So, not bagging. I mean, it is wonderful. This is fantastic. I'm not bagging on this at all. It is so delicious. good. I would get these again in a heartbeat. Uh -huh. If you're a sweet tooth person, uh -huh. I'm not too much of a sweet tooth person. Yeah, oh yeah, you're right. Uh -huh. But if you're a sweet tooth person, oh. these are perfect. Come on, man. You're going to make Lindsay clean that off the table, dude. Oh, come on. Take she just got back from her meth break, dude. She doesn't want to do this kind of stuff. It'll be on the week. She's too paranoid man. to be cleaning the table, man. The way that I would totally rank this entire, this entire little three-part meal, I would say the appetizer, 10 out of 10. Mm -hmm. 100%. Couldn't do anything better, right? Like, I think they nailed it. Very good. The macaroni, 6 out of 10. Six? Like a D, you know what I mean? I'm going five, because it's like, damn, they don't even, they get a fail? Like a mid-level, eh. All right, It right. really tastes like soup plantation buffet I stuff. I cannot argue with you. I'm not gonna, yeah. I'm not backing up the macaroni and stuff. <laughs> That's not good. <laughs> Very good, dude. As far as this dessert goes, I would give this an 8.5. Maybe, a, no, 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 I'd give it a nine out of 10. Nine out of 10. I'm not a big sweets person, but it I is. I go nine as well, yeah. for what it is. Mm, it's amazing. I suppose the only thing that, that could be improved, which I don't personally care about, but like <laughs> if people will, might think this. Tell them what they could improve. Is the creaminess. What, what would you That's think? my one thing. Right. Yeah. But, but it's not bad. Like it, that doesn't detract anything from well, this. I would still eat it, no problem. Yeah, I don't have like any if you notes. were sick, but you still wanted to have ice cream. Yeah. This could kind of be an alternative. Yeah. So that is that. That is it. The appetizer, those, those wings, you should go try them. Macaroni, you should probably not go try it. <laughs> this, if you like sweets, you should definitely go try it. I know these things are expensive, so I mean, it's hard to go out and try these all yourself because you're going to be spending like 80 bucks and then you're only going to like $20 worth of this stuff. So I think these videos are cool because kind of serves the purpose of you being like, oh, okay, macaroni, definitely no. not getting that. No. Barbecue wings, Definitely getting that, yeah. right? So if you guys want us to try any other specific, like, you know, types or companies or whatever alternative you want, let us know in the comments below. I'm sure we'll go do it. It's so much fun to do these videos. I love making videos at LP. This is my brother, by the way. If you want to follow him on Instagram or on his own YouTube channel, the links will be in the description below. But let me know what you guys thought. If you enjoyed this, give it a like. Let us know what you want us to try next and subscribe if you're not subscribed already. I think that CT has one thing to say to us. CT! Lift heavy or die, Myron, mother.